In today's session of Divorce Court, Shannon Coleman and Patrick Dolly fell in love when they were just teenagers. For five years, they hid their love from their families and finally ran away to Las Vegas and got married. They thought their love would last forever, but after six months, Patrick says their marriage was full of betrayals. The night of our, our was supposed to be our honeymoon, she was sleeping with another man. She, oh my goodness. <laughs> Is that right? I had a boyfriend at the time, yes. Oh! And lies. How do you fake a pregnancy for six months? Is that right, Miss Coleman? Yes, it is. And I think about that kid. You know, and I, and I think about, well, if she would have been really been pregnant, how old would our kid be now? Now, Patrick says his trust is shattered. But can they really go through with a divorce? I didn't want the marriage to end. Do you still love her at this moment? I think you still want to be married. Is that right? All rise, court is now in session. Maybelline Ephraim presiding. You may be seated. This is a matter of Shannon Coleman versus Patrick Dolly. I'm advised that the two of you had a relationship for five years over the telephone that was quite wonderful. You met, you married, and within six months you separated. I'm also advised that Mr. Patrick, Mr. Dolly, you were aware immediately that it was a mistake. Today you're asking for a divorce and you want the stereo system. Right. And is this the stereo system next to Mr. Coleman? Yes, it is. All right. Why do you think you should get the stereo system? First of all, Your Honor, I don't believe that. It's not about a radio. It's not about a stereo. It's what about is it about? It's about something that holds sentimental value to me. All right. You know, What's the sentimental value? Throughout our relationship, Shannon put me through a lot, you know, a lot of heartbreak. Uh, six months of fake pregnancy. A she, fake pregnancy? She had me kissing her stomach, singing songs to a child that never existed. A fake pregnancy for six months? Yes, ma'am. Ms. Coleman, what? how did you fake a pregnancy for six months? Well, this is the thing. He broke up with me, and I was so hurt that I felt I just ran away from my family. I moved out. You know, I had no, no one to go to, and here he breaks up with me. And I was really, really hurt by that. Your and you moved out for him? Yes, no, I that's did. That's not true. The that is I, true. The reason why I broke up with her is because she was sleeping with my friend. I did not sleep with that's your friend. I messed I around with, with your friend. I did oh, not. Oh, you, oh okay, how you Okay, that makes it better. That makes it better. Stop. You weren't sleeping with his friends. You messed around? Right. Define messed around. Messed around, what happened was, is I sat on his lap and I was rubbing his head and I kissed him while he was in the other room. <gasps> While your husband was in the other room? Yes. This really hurts you, doesn't it? Yeah, I mean, come on. I mean, I, I've cared about this girl forever. We've been a part of each other's lives forever. <laughs> Mr. Coleman, Mr. Dolly, <laughs> Bailiff, do you need some water? Would you like some water, Mr. Dolly? You want us to take a minute? It's OK. You need a break? No, thank you. I'm, I'm OK. You sure? I'm still trying to figure out, how did you fake being pregnant for six months? Did you put some pillows there and say you were, the baby was growing inside? How'd you, know, you do that? I just, I told everyone that I was pregnant and I just kept it along, kept it along. And, and Patrick had his doubts. He, you know, he kept telling me, Shannon's telling me the truth. So did you tell your father and your mother too? No, okay. no. And so, I was six months down the road, he finally said, if you don't tell me the truth, then, you know, leave my house now. And, and, all I, and my whole thing was, I was so afraid that he was going to break up with me. You know, because I do. I did love this man. What were you going to do at nine months when it was time for the baby to be born? Well, I was, I was trying very, very hard to get pregnant, and I couldn't. So you were hoping that you'd get pregnant during the time that you were faking the pregnancy? Yes. And that didn't happen? Correct. And so when it did come out that I wasn't, and, and he was very devastated, and I, I totally understand How did that. it come out that you weren't pregnant? How'd you find I just, out? I just got, I got really tired. I, I knew. I had my doubts from the beginning. So how did you find out? Um, I went, um, I talked to a lot of people. I went and talked to doctors, and I got different opinions. And I just, it just hit me. 
You know, I, I knew that she wasn't pregnant, and I told her throughout the whole six months, just tell me the truth. I promise you I won't break Could up you. Could you see that her, you weren't gaining, well, she wasn't gaining weight? Like I said, I guess love is blind. I want so much for her. Even now, I know that our relationship is not going to work, but I still want the best for this woman. I still want What do the you best want for, for yourself? To be honest with you, what I've always done in my whole life, I've always put her first. Not Whatever. your whole life. You've only known since, each since other I've for known six her. years. Since I've known her. I've always put her first. So this is a classic love-hate relationship. Yes. Your Honor, she lied like to me. Been a lot she of betrayed me. She hurt me. Okay. Th and you don't is... think that you hurt her at all? I, I've never hurt her. I've given you her nothing but respect, me? Your Honor. I've treated her I with nothing but respect. I bet if I were respect. to ask her that, she wouldn't agree. Of course she wouldn't agree. Ms. Coleman, don't you feel that he's hurt you some too? Yes, he has. What have I done about you? When we first when we first broke up before I did the, the fake pregnancy thing, he went out on a date. He called me up before he went out on the date to tell me that he was going out on a date. Then when he came back home, he called me and told me all about the date that and is how not true. and how he <laughs> how he um, lost his pager in the sand because <laughs> Your Honor, they were, that is because not true they were fooling around on well, the now, beach. So I have one question. Mm -hmm. If you thought that he was messing around before you married him, two years after you saw each other, mm -hmm. and you thought that he was messing around the five years that you were talking on the phone to each other, why did you marry him? I loved him. We've been together on and off for so long. Your Honor, He's like I, my... have never, I have never cheated on her. The one time that I did something with her friend, it was after the, pre after the fake pregnancy, well, after the Let me ask you the same question. But you should stop. If she was messing around, so you thought, before you met, married her, the first time you saw her, you say she sat in on your friend's lap, and you say she had an affair. She says she just sat on his lap and kissed him, mm -hmm. whatever. Two years goes by. Why did you marry her? Your Honor, I was in denial. I didn't, I didn't, I didn't think she can do any wrong. But you saw her doing wrong, right. so you I, I, could, I couldn't believe it. When Divorce Court returns, Shannon talks about other problems in her short marriage to Patrick. He was very possessive. I cannot go anywhere without him. She he wears shirts that stop right here. We go out in public and she's like, you know, stretching it and everything is showing. And what really happened on their wedding night. The night of our, our, what's supposed to be our honeymoon, she was sleeping with another man. If you would like to have the judge hear your case in divorce court, call us toll free at 1-877-311-2222 or email us at www.divorcecourttv.com. Divorce Court is back as Shannon testifies about Patrick's possessive and jealous nature. He was very possessive. I cannot go anywhere without him. Even to go get my nails done, he had to be there right there sitting I right by me. I wanted to be there because I wanted to be by one, my woman's side. I'm sorry if I want to spend time with my woman. That's is it why. because you didn't trust but it was her or you just time. wanted to be with her? It's a little of both. I, I wanted even, to be with her. I cannot wear clothes that I wanted to wear. She he, wears shirts that stop right here, Your Honor, and when we go out in public. Shirts that stop right where? Like right here. We go out in public and she's like, you know, stretching it and everything is showing. You mean showing her breasts? Yeah. yeah. I mean, is that right? No, that is not right. I mean, well, wait a minute though, is this before or after the marriage that she's wearing the short shirts? This is, this is before and after. So if you know that she was wearing short shirts that showed her breasts during... But this the, is how he met Hold on, me. I'm trying to get some understanding. She cheats on you with, you, with her friends. Mm -hmm. She deceived you about a marriage, about a pregnancy. Right. She wears shirts that shows her breast, and yet you married her. Why? Your Honor, <laughs> okay, after, when she moved back, I knew that the, we, we went to Vegas, okay, and she brought up getting married. Now, I've always wanted to marry this woman. Despite all of that? Right. I've always wanted to marry her. Sounds like I, you're a glutton for punishment, are you? Sucker for love, one of them. <laughs> okay, sucker for love. <laughs> One of them. So you, she asked you to go to Las Vegas? Well, actually, we agreed to go to Las Vegas, you know, just to get married or no, just to go to Vegas? Just to just go to spontaneously. Go. And then what happened? She brought up marriage, us getting married, and... And so you said it sounds pretty good to me, right? That's what I'd always wanted, was to be married to her. And do you still love her at this moment? That's a question I still don't know to this day. Because... I think you still want to be married. Is that right? No, ma'am. We've gone through a lot of stuff with one another, and I have to admit, I have done some really bad, terrible stuff to him, you know? So then why do and you think I, you should have this stereo system? This is the only thing, and I understand where he's coming from, this is the only thing that I have left from our marriage. 
It's the you only know, thing he I've, has left. That's what he says. You're the one when we got out of the, um, the chapel said, I think we made a mistake. We should go and try to get this fixed right now. Right. I'm the one said. <laughs> right. So he a immediately he asked for them? Yes. Nobody. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Let me just say this. Okay, the night of our, our was supposed to be our honeymoon, she was sleeping with another man. She, oh, my goodness. <laughs> the night of our honeymoon, she dropped me off at my house, and I had to go explain to my mom that I was married. She went and slept with another man. How do you know that? She told me. Ask her. Is that right? I had a boyfriend at the time, yes. Oh! oh. So you married him. He said he wanted no, to No, 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 you got a boyfriend. You talk him into getting married. I didn't talk him into getting married. You suggested we get married. Okay, but I didn't put a gun or hold oh, anything. Oh, I understand that, but you suggested we get married. But as soon as after we left the, as soon as after we stepped out, he's gonna said, oh, we made a mistake. How and do you, you think, probably you, should have said how, the same how thing. How do you think I felt? No, I told him we what? should go to marriage counseling. No, yes, with the... That I'm the one that said we should go to marriage counseling. I didn't I want the marriage. I think you did that before marriage. I didn't want the marriage to end. My question is, after such a terrible relationship, why do either of you want this stereo to remind you of the relationship? It's a very good question. I still, I, I still do care. I do care about it. I care about her well-being. You know. You're in counseling. Well, um, I have a therapist that I see occasionally. Are you seeing the therapist? Yes. Don't stop. <laughs> if this marriage and this seven-year relationship has been as torn as you people have described to me today. Why in the world would you want any memories of it? I'd tear up every picture, every phone bill. Just forget it. He did. He tore up my only graduation picture that I had, that I gave to him. He tore that up. Wouldn't that remind you of him if you had the stereo? It's the only thing I had. And my ring and my but chain. why do you want it? He's always going to be in my heart, regardless of everything I've done. Oh, this is so touching. <laughs> it's true, Your Honor. All right, I do. On. I care about him a lot. You know, he is the only person that has stuck by me through everything. I know I've done some really, really bad stuff. Really bad stuff. You know, and I'm not, I am an adult, so I have to take responsibility for what I've done. But as my family life, I didn't have the greatest family life in the world. A lot of stuff has happened to me. You know a lot of people have it. I know. I understand that. As, as him as well. A lot has gone through his family as well. You know, and I think that's why we stuck on to each other so much is because it was like together we were our own like support system because his family was not the greatest. My family was not the greatest. And we tried, or I, he tried, okay, to make it work. And although it was admirable that the two of you were trying to lean on each other, both of you were falling. I know. That's what's the problem. And that's why I suggested going to marriage counseling, because I, even to this day, I, you know, I, I wanted it to work. What about you, Mr. Uh, Dolly? Would you consider marriage counseling and trying to keep the relationship? No. Not now. I've had enough. So why would you want this stereo to remind you of a relationship that has caused you so much pain? Like I said in the beginning, although I don't want to be married to her, I still do want to be a part of her life, you know? So you want the stereo system so you can stay a part of her life? I don't, I don't know what's going to happen. I don't it know. It makes her dear to you when you look at the stereo system? Is that what you're saying? <laughs> actually, it does. I'm not laughing. I'm saying actually, when you see that. Actually, it does. It reminds you of her, and it's a part of her that's still next to you. Yeah, it does. You know, I don't, I don't know where we're going to go from now. You know, I don't know if I'm going to have any contact with her, if I'm going to talk to her. And it's, uh, it's, like I said, it, it doesn't have nothing to do with the fact that it plays music or I want to, you know, nothing like that. You know, it has to do with her. Why would you want an object to constantly remind you well, of that pain? Well, the reason pain? why I'm hurting is because of the things that we've that she's done to me, not, not our relationship in general. The things that she's done to me throughout our relationship, that's, that's what hurts. When I think back to that, I think about that kid. You know, and, and I think about, well, if she would have been really been pregnant, how old would our kid be now? So you're grieving over the whole deceit in terms of not having that child. That's what's hurting you. And I've apologized for that, and I know I was totally <coughs> out of line for that, totally. And I understand you're hurting. I understand Bailiff, that. would you please give him a Kleenex? And you know I hate to see you hurt. 
and I apologize, and I wish I could go back and do it all over again, because you know I would do it all over again and not do that. Mr. Dolly, can you accept her apology? That, you know, even though she's done that and it hurt you and she deceived you, unfortunately, she can't take back those years, and nor can you. The only thing she can do now is say, I'm sorry. And you have to forgive and then move on. She said, I'm sorry. She can't change the past. Can you accept her apology and try to forget it? I wish I You've could change You've got to the for past. your own sake. I, like, I, I mean, I still, I don't, I mean, I still feel like, you know, I want to, I want to be a part of her life. I'm so concerned about how she's going to, how she's going to be in life, if she's going to be so okay. So you don't want this marriage to end? I don't know. I don't want to be with her. I still do want to be a friend to her. I don't want to be with her anymore. I still do want to be a friend. I, I can accept the apology, but it still hurts. Of course it hurts, but if you, the first place you start to get rid of pain is when someone says, I'm sorry, and you accept it, and you start dwelling on the past. Okay. I don't want to lose him as a friend. I still want him to be in my life. Well, I suggest you know, that both of you continue in counseling, and perhaps that can happen. But right now, I've got to decide what to do about the stereo. <laughs> and I'm going to take a break to do that. When divorce court returns, the judge hands down her verdict. And an update on the case of Irma Mercado versus J.R. Mercado. What should these pictures show They're me? very explicit, and if I was you, I wouldn't open it. Woo! <laughs> Divorce Court will be back in session in a moment. Divorce Court is back in the case of Shannon Coleman versus Patrick Dolly, whose marriage is ending after only six months. Back in the matter of Shannon Coleman versus Patrick Dolly. This has not been an easy decision. Frankly, I think that both of you she take that stereo system and burn it. But that's not what you asked me. I think it represents the most painful moments in your lives. But since you're here for me to make a decision and one of you wants it, I have to do that. That's what you've asked me to do. Because she's got, Ms. Coleman has disposed of the only other few items that the two of you accumulated during this relationship. And apparently the marriage and the relationship didn't mean as much to her. I'm going to award the stereo system to Mr. Dolly with a strong suggestion that hopefully after a month or so you'll realize that you really don't need the reminder. It is so ordered. Court is adjourned. When Divorce Court returns, an update on the case of Irma Mercado versus J.R. Mercado. He knew what I had. His eyes were huge, the color left his face, and I just told him, you have five minutes to get out of my house. Closed captioning for Divorce Court provided by... If you would like to have the judge hear your case in Divorce Court, Call us toll-free at 1-877-311-2222 or email us at www.divorcecourttv.com. And now for an update on a previous case in divorce court. Irma Mercado had divorced JR once before, but their love brought them back together for a second try at marriage. And I said, Irma, do you want to work things out? Because I didn't want to mess up my marriage. I love her to death. But when Irma discovered an X-rated videotape and photographs of JR and another woman. When I had it in my hand and was walking, he knew what I had. His eyes were huge. The color left his face. And I just told him, you have five minutes to get out of my house. She brought him to divorce court. What should these pictures tell me? Uh, they're they're me. very explicit. And if I was you, I wouldn't open it. <laughs> she was married. She had two children. Oh, my goodness. She was married? And, yes, and that's right. her husband was his best friend. He was not oh, my best friend. No. no, 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 no. Irma wanted to keep the X-rated pictures in case she needed them as ammunition in a custody battle. But JR wanted to keep the pictures just to keep them away from Irma. So what do you want to do with these pictures now? I want to burn them. That's what he said the first time. And there they are. The judge said that neither party should have the pictures and ordered them destroyed. I'm going to order you to... Give the videotape to Joe, please.
The tape and photographs were permanently destroyed immediately following the judge's ruling, but JR has no idea where the negatives to those pictures might be. I feel the verdict was wrong. I think he's showing a lot of drama right now. I'm very upset. Shannon, I don't know what else to say except for I still want to be part of your life. I wish the best for you, you know, but as far as our marriage, it just can't work.